So we have to solve for i1, i2, i3, i1, and i2, and i3. They're already given if you want to solve them on your own, but if you want to see the steps, so let's continue. Oh, uh, we, we see that we have like a voltage, sorry, a current source between two reference points. So that means we can technically ignore this portion as long as we write an equation for this 3 amp source. So 3 amps, it's equal to I1 as it's moving the direction of the 3 amp source minus I2, which is moving the opposite of the way. And we don't actually have to take this one ohm resistor in, into account for an, our equation. So now let's ignore this whole thing and we can treat this whole thing as one entire mesh. So let's start. So mesh one and two. So we see I1, it enters the ne negative six volt source plus two I1 minus I3. So then now we're entering the uh, I2 uh, mesh. So it'll be plus uh, four I2 minus I3 plus eight I2. Okay, now let's you know foil this all out. All right, let's click like terms. So this I this is the only uh two I one we have. Uh, we have the okay. So those are two I one. Uh, then we have uh two I twos here. So eight plus four, that's twelve. So twelve I two. We have these I threes here. So it'll be minus six I three. Then and minus six equals zero. Let's actually bring the six to the other side. So it'll equal to six. Okay, now what's next? Okay, now let's work with our I3 mesh. So let's call it mesh 3. So 2I3 plus 4I3 minus I2 plus 2I3 minus I1. All right, let's foil this all out. Let's collect like terms. Okay, so there's only two. So there's only one I1. So it'll be minus two I1. Then there's also only one I4. So it'll be minus four I. So, sorry, I2. Okay. Then we have three I3s. So it'll be eight I3 equals zero. Okay. And now we can. So now we have three equations and three unknowns. Okay. So let's first work with this. So three. Uh, let's bring the two to the other side. So we plus i two equals i one. Okay. So let's plug it into one of these. So let's plug it into here. So it'll be two, three plus i two plus twelve i two. Minus six i three equals six. Let's follow the two. So it'll be six plus two i two plus twelve i two minus six i three equals six. And we see these sixes cancel out. So we just have two i two plus twelve i two minus six i three equals zero. And this is fourteen i two. And let's bring the six to the other side. So it'll be six i three. Okay. So let's divide both sides by 6. So it'll be 14 over 6 I2 equals I3. So we, so we have that. Now let's go back to this equation we have here. And let's plug, plug it, uh, I3 in. So we have minus 2. And recall I1 was 3 plus I2. So it's 3 plus I2 minus 4 I2 plus 8. Uh, 14 over 6 I2 equals 0. So let's foil this in. So minus 6 minus 2 I2 minus 4 I2 plus uh, 
18.667 I2 equals 0. Let's collect like terms. So it's minus 6 uh, plus 12.6667 I2 equals 0. Let's bring the minus 6 to the other side. So it will be equal to 6. And divide both sides by 12.6667. These two cancel out. So we have I2 equal 0 0.47368 amps. Now we can use that to solve for our other ones. So we can plug that into here. So 14 over 6 times 0 0.47368. That gives us I3. And I3 is equal to 1.10 amps. And now we can use that. Sorry. Now we can solve for I1 as well. It's 3 plus I2. So I1 is equal to uh, 3.47368 amps. So these are your final answers.